G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Now today, another little experiment. You know how I've been doing the fairy flowers? Yes. And you know how I've been getting white centres, which everyone else does as well, even Micah does, and she's the creator of the fairy um, on resincourses.com. And by the white centre, if you don't know what I mean, see the big white blob in the middle? Like we put stones and things in there, but it still happens. Big white blob. Big white blob. <laughs> Covered by a sticker. It's it's just how it is, I think. I think. Big white blob. <laughs> Covered by a sticker. Anyway, I am going to try today to do one where... I don't get a big white blob sticker. It's got some glitter and stuff, but you can still see the big white blob underneath. So that's that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Right, so today we're going to try for no big white blob in the middle. So still following along in um, Micah's footsteps from resincourses.com, and I will link the website down below if you want to do it, and there's also a coupon code. But I'm just going to put my own little twist on it and see if I can maybe not get that big white blob or a smaller white blob <laughs> oh gosh anyway so my white um is my bloom it's i guess i would call it opaque yes let's call it opaque i would call it an opaque white in there um i can just sit there for a minute i'm going to use some black crushed quartz little stones for my center because i think it's better to have something that's heavy that it's not going to float around now my colors look Autumn, fall colours. These are all the Holbein inks. Not They're acrylic inks. They're not um, alcohol inks. There is, um, I'm just going to call it ISO yellow <laughs> because it's a big long name. Isondolinone. Stupid word. ISO yellow. Naphthol red light and quinacridone crimson. So I thought those colours would look nice together. So we'll try that. Um, and these are all all transparent. So as you may notice, I've got a lot more in my little cup of these. So I'm not going to do any of the white pour at the end. I'm not going to, okay? That's what I'm going to test today. So no big white pour at the end so instead of having the white in my other cup um, I've just divided my cups equally and um, that's what we're going to do okay right so still going to do the dirty pour so let's get layering now you need a bigger cup for the dirty pour um, probably do three layers I guess and I know it's going to be quite an orange kind of a pour because well yellow and orange it's kind of an orangish yellow anyway but I think it's going to be like quite an orangish <laughs> colored pour I don't know how many layers I'm doing I'm just uh, actually I'm probably going to do four by the looks of it you don't want your layers too big when you've got such a big amount of of resin going in your cup um, otherwise you'll end up with like big big blobs of, of colour, whereas I want them more blended. Try and do them more blended. And I really don't like the spirals. Oh, God. I'm difficult to please, aren't I? I don't want definite rings like spirals in my, in my finished pour. I don't. I hope my yellow doesn't get lost behind all these other red tones but anyway that's what I was going for just a, a nice blending some sunflowers of this kind of color like an orangish kind of a tone so yeah don't mind if it's kind of blended as long as it looks pretty and then I'll have the the black center the black pebbles in the middle so that's my plan, Stan. All right. Now I'm going to give it a little bit of a 
a stir just a bit <laughs> and then I'm just gonna dump like so and look it just looks very orange I know I know oh. hopefully we'll be able to see some kind of color definition on the other side but basically it's just this is an experiment to see um, if I can not get the white blob all right so we'll look at the colors I just have to clean off my hands here with some isopropyl alcohol clean off my gloves um, so yeah it's basically just a little experiment to see if I can get rid of that white center so not necessarily colors although I think I might have a bit too much in there actually actually I might have too much it's not ideal is it having to take it out all right that'll do That'll do. Let's give it a bit of a tap, 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 tap. Get the bubbles up off the surface. Bit of a torch. All right. Are you still with me? You, you're awfully quiet. Awfully quiet. Maybe I needed a darker tone in there. I thought that the crimson was going to be quite dark, but it's kind of blended. All right, we'll just snip the end off that. I've probably got about... Uh, what's that about four or five millimeters wide that hole all right here we go so exactly the same thing with the dots all the way around now feel free to fast forward at this point you can come back to me once I'm finished dotting it's going to take a little while but um, I can't stop now I'm just going to go now tell me, how many of you are doing the fairy flower, the dragon flower, the Larimar effect? Um, and how many of you are enjoying it? Or are you just finding it frustrating? Second row. When I started, I didn't have the recipe or anything. Um, and I wasted quite a bit of <laughs> resin and inks and products and, you know, just using the wrong inks. I was using alcohol inks, using the wrong resins. I uh, wasted quite a lot of it, and then I thought, oh, I'll just do the course. <laughs> I don't think it cost too much, but yeah, I did the course, learned how to do it. And um, now I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying experimenting with it, doing different patterns, doing different colours. And I think you guys are enjoying watching them. Hopefully you're enjoying doing them as well. So remember, we've got no white to pour into the middle going to do a little bit of there we go that'll do all right so that's all I'm going to do for the middle I'm going to go around and do some more around the outside though just between each of these petals you can see there's a little gap in between each one I'm going to go in between each and you can see them already starting to move forward towards the middle it's just what resin does I don't know why it just does it moves from the outside in and especially when you've got a live edge like this it kind of mimics what's going on on the outside and it goes ah don't I don't want to be touched by that edge and it moves away from the edge so yeah I don't know why it does that it just does now I'm just adding a little bit more white just where I've got a little bit of a blank spot you're not going to see this because it's going to be on the the bottom edge but what it's doing is it's just pushing my colors forward now I don't want to overdo it I don't want to overdo it oh gosh this is where I think oh my gosh do I do one more row just here I think I will just do one more just between these it's got little gaps just there and then that'll be it so just one more row and then that will be it we'll stop there I don't want to put too much in the middle 
uh, because it's going to all move to the middle anyway. There we go. Ta-da! Oh, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. Now, I probably didn't need to suck out too much. Well, not suck out. Take out too much of that other resin that I just took out. Just going to move that in there a little bit. Um, with the live edge, you can like snip some of the little bits off if you don't want them there. I could have actually filled this up a little bit more. Yeah, I didn't have to take it out, but I didn't know at the time that I wasn't. I was going to have enough room. Now I'm only putting like another twenty grams or so of white in there. I didn't need to take all that out that I took out, but never mind. There we go. Just trying to make that a little bit even. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Give it a bit of a torch just to pop some bubbles. Now, I think, oh gosh, now I, see, I don't know, do I put my stones in now? I might just clean up a little bit and um, come back to you in five minutes. I'll clean up the sticks and things, come back to you in five minutes once this has had a chance to move a bit more. Um, and then I'll put the, put the stones in. I am just going to give it a bit of heat with my heat gun just to um, help it move a little bit. I don't know if it needs it or not. Just like I do when I do my, um, you know, my, my fireworks. This is obviously very similar to my fireworks that I've been doing. Um, the only difference really is it's a deeper mould. But apart from that, it's pretty similar, I think, to my fireworks that I've been doing. All right. Let's pop some stones in. Now, if you... I'm going to shine my little torch or flashlight into the middle. If you're annoyed by lights at all, flickering lights, look away now. I just want to see what's going on in there. Bit early to tell, not a lot going in there just yet. But um, hopefully it will. Now I'm going to put some stones in. Try and get them to go into the middle. And because they're stones, they're heavy and they tend to fall down, which is which is good. Like glitter doesn't. shapes it's making. Make sure you don't drop any anywhere else. Okay, I think that'll do. Get in that little last one. All right. Let's give those a bit of a tap, tap, tap down. A few little bubbles coming up. Um, yeah, I just got this on Amazon. Mix in. Crushed Quartz by Glass Coat. Okay, um, basically that's it. Look at the really pretty little pattern that it's made there. I'm not going to do anything else to it. Um, I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm going to cover it with a food net. And uh, we shall wait and see what happens. So because I've got the, the glass there, if I do end up with, I don't know, a lot of this white moving into the middle, it's not really going to matter because, you know, the the um, the glass will cover it. But I'm hoping we're going to get some really pretty petals. Yeah, it looks very orange, very red, very red. But anyway, we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. See you soon. Wish me luck. Okay, it's cured. Uh, I waited till it stopped moving and it was kind of tacky in the middle so I knew it wasn't going to move anymore. 
probably about an hour and a half I guess and then I slid a piece of card underneath it and picked it up and put it in my curing machine for another hour and a half or so and uh, it's done it's still a bit warm and a bit soft as usual but I am really keen to see if my theory has worked I'm not I'm not really expecting it to but you know it, it was just a thought it was just a thought so I'll trim off that little little bit there that's poking up there we go all right so, oh I don't want to look like I do but I'm I'm just putting off <laughs> putting off the inevitable all right do you think it's worked what are your thoughts mm. all right let's do this all right let's do the count one two three it worked you guys there's no white in the middle <laughs> wow i've got the different shaped petals i have no idea why like every time i do this it's different wow look at the outside it looks it looks all wavy and like normally there's like this I will see this one this one's different but see this one see how it's got that definite line around the outside um, this one I mean it has got the dark it's got the dark around the outside but it's got these little little wisps of white coming through look at that it's like the whites dropped and then like spread and bloomed so it's it's a bit of a different look got a tiny bit of yellow here <laughs> kind of lost all my yellow but what do you think quite transparent on the side there black center I guess it's a bit hard to know like if the white would have covered over but I shone my torch in there I didn't see any white but see that one see that one how you can definitely see it's got the white even under the stones and between the stones this one doesn't have that even between the stones it's just you know that transparent red in there so yes that works it's just the I guess the smooshed up shape of those petals around there as opposed to these more defined petals because I guess they don't have as far to drop because when I poured them they weren't as deep this is just me thinking out loud see they weren't very deep it was only you know a few millimeters deep and I put my dots in whereas this one I guess it was like this deep and I put my dots in so I don't know let's try again and uh, not use quite so much don't put quite so many dots in and uh, see what happens next time but that's a theory tick check it worked <laughs> oh, I'm happy all right happy because there's no white but um, not so happy because the shape of the petals aren't aren't the best but um, yeah it's different each time loving that edge what do you think of the black stones looks kind of nice doesn't it we'll just go over here into this section over here so that you can get a proper look that's what the that's what the colors are it's a bit glary over on the other side of the bench with all the ring lights shining on them but that's the um that's the true color huh cool another experiment down well you let me know what you think of it do you like it do you prefer maybe the white in the middle and the more finely shaped petals I just find these ones a little bit squished mm. the other thing I could do is wait a little bit until my art pro because this is the art pro from resin pro wait until it gets a bit thicker um, and then try it because I am pouring it I am dropping the dots when it's so deep maybe that's another option as well 
Oh my gosh, lots of experiments. Or do I just stop experimenting and just have the white in the middle? How everyone else does it. You let me know what you think. What are your thoughts on the subject? All right. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed my video. And uh, yeah, join me in making some fairy flowers. I'd love to see yours. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye for now.